Reptile Super Show, Anaheim 2020. First off, big shout out to Rami for putting on in the first place. I can't imagine what it's like to try and put on an event like this. It's got to be a logistical nightmare. So thank you, Rami, for making these shows happen. Also, while we're doing shout outs, a big shout out to my buddy Riley for being there for me, always holding down the fort. And actually, uh, this is my one pickup from the show, even though it's not technically from the show. It's from Riley. He hooked us up with this sweet crested gecko. This enormously giant, sweet crested gecko <laughs> that is going to be part of the educational shows now. And uh, super stoked on this dude. He's so chill and big and awesome. And yeah, looking forward to bring this guy to the shows because he's definitely well tempered and uh, seems to be quite well mannered and adjusted to human interaction. So I'm stoked to include this little dude. Um, the only other animal I actually picked up at the show was some dubia roaches so I can get the colony going a little stronger for feeding all the different animals we have now that eat dubia. And uh, yeah, so the most common question I was asked at the show was, how is the show going for me? Like, how's the show going? How's the show going for you? And I was like, it's kind of subjective. Like, how, how does the show going? Like, what, like, what do you mean? The shows always go the same for me. They're always great. I'm always hanging out with people that love reptiles and amphibians and it's just a great time every time i've never not had a good show and so uh there's the other aspect i guess which is i think maybe what people could have meant as well when they're asking how's the show going for me is like monetarily like how are you doing the show making money i do know that it seemed to be a thing that uh there was a lot more expenses around that show being that it was in anaheim and you know it's right next to disneyland and things are more expensive parking i know is kind of an issue for some folks um, so th there was that. I did, however, make uh, enough to at least pay my car insurance for this year, which for those of you who live in California, that's not, not the easiest expense to manage. <laughs> and uh, so that, that was good. And keep in mind, I only brought, only brought four animals to the show, actually. So there's that as well. But so this is going to actually be a two part video. This first part of the video is going to be kind of just the craziness that we did around the show and just like building up to the actual opening of the show. But let's just here. Aloha folks, friends, family. We're here with Nicholas from Wyoming Reptiles. Let me give you, give you guys a little... Lovera uh, Exotics now. Oh, sorry, Lovera uh, Exotics. I, I, I didn't know you changed your name. Yeah. We are on our way to the Anaheim show, and uh, I just want to give you a re recap of what got us here. Went camping with the family to bring in the new year, which was fantastic. Didn't really film much because we were off grid and I was just enjoying my lack of technology. However, the highlight for the NOAA the Noah especially was finding raccoons coming into our campsite and then it was just gorgeous it was the best way to bring in the new year ever like just being out there and just watching the sunset on the last day of the year over the ocean and no service area it was perfect but and then we got back home and the water was turned off which is exactly what you want when you get home from camping and then I didn't shower didn't sleep unpacked from camping Packed up for the show, got in the vehicle, and here we go. <laughs> and we were at the show already, actually. Then we had to come and sit in this gorgeous LA traffic. Why did we leave the show? It was so we could pick up this slacker back here. Hmm. How's it going back there? It's going good, Brian. Sitting behind you. Yeah? It's going really good. Is it going all right? Yeah, did, you smell something funny? Nope, nope. It's all right. You should probably take a shower. I did. Do we like be there soon so I can take a breath? Somewhat set up. We got the we got some stuff set up. It's like it's different different here. Uh, it's definitely bigger, 100%. Like it's bigger across this way, th and than it was at the other show. And then we got uh, the Canadians. Canadians have arrived. The party is really starting because we got the Canadians here. See, they brought an incubator too that they made in Canada. This is what a Canadian incubator looks like, and you can find it at right. Cornell yeah, World. Sorry about that. I forgot to turn on the autofocus. You guys don't mind, right? You don't need to see anything. Right there, all you Canadian folks, check that out. Even if you're not Canadian, go give it a look. It's a beautiful incubator. It looks good. We got Nick. We got, we got this guy with his stupid sunset clown. We got this guy over here. 
the Sunset Clown really isn't that stupid. No, the Desert Coast Clown. No, you're is stupid, stupid for making it before me. That's the, the problem. Price is oh, okay. I was just checking. <laughs> and the price, the price, the price. Is, that's a price that you price when you don't really don't want to sell, sell it. Yes, <laughs> I, I agree. I agree. I agree with your price. Yes, I agree with it. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna hang out, guys. I, I've got an idea for the way I'm gonna film this show. If you watched before, you know that I'm always trying to think of a different way to film the show, so it's not like filming the same show again and again every time I come. And I've got a pretty good idea because every time I come to these shows, it's like I'm trying to figure out the best way to film the show and capture it so you guys can feel like you're here. And I think I've got a great idea for doing that. Even though I'm trying to conduct a shit ton of interviews over here while it's going on, I, I still have a really good idea of how I'm gonna help you guys be able to feel like you're here at the show. Let me know down in the comments at the end of the video if I succeeded or not. Let, let me know if you know these beautiful people. Hi, everybody. Don't forget to click that notification bell, subscribe, and send me all your money. It also looks like I'm supposed to be neighbors with this guy, but he doesn't seem to be arriving on the scene, but we set up some substrate for him just in case. But hopefully he gets here, because I'd love to see him. Woo! So we left the show. Everything was pretty much set up, and then Matt tried to take us out to dinner and ended up get, getting dropped off somewhere uh, around Disneyland where we weren't supposed to be in security. I was like, hey, you guys gotta get out of here. <laughs> we just got dropped off and we're like halfway, it's like some kind of Disneyland Parking twilight lot. zone. No, it's not even a zone, like the security guards back there behind me, they're like, they're, they're freaking out because they, they're wondering like if we're terrorists or not. He's got someone to take us. Okay, but they oh, got... Oh, he has a ride for us because we're wanted criminals now. <laughs> we, Uber driver dropped us off, said this is where the pizza <laughs> joint was. I'm gonna blame this guy right here for everything. <laughs> totally my fault. Totally my fault for all the kids at home. <laughs> Next time I'm gonna get pizza at the hotel. Yeah, we should've just done that. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, came back to the hotel here. And now it's 4 a.m. I went to sleep, but like in a reasonable hour, actually like 11 or 12, not like the usual craziness. But for some reason, I woke up at 4 a.m. I don't need to be at the venue to set up until 7, but here I am awake. Dave's out there making love to his pillow. Riley's sawing cocoa blocks. And I am here. I got dandruff because of uh, camping and not showering and wearing a beanie in the cold the whole time. So I'll probably be wearing a hat because that's embarrassing. And uh, also, I'm still really excited about the way that I think I'm gonna get you guys to see as much of the show as possible. Even though for some reason the drone is not taking off because we're in a no-fly zone, it's like right next to Disneyland I think is why. I really hope I can get the drone in the air so that you guys can see the great expanse of how big this place is. But if not, I'm still, even if that doesn't happen, I'm still really happy with the idea I've got for getting you guys to see as much of the show as possible. I'm gonna take a shower, then we're gonna get to the show. All right, let's do this. Hey, Miguel. I'm gonna be here. You make these? I'm not gonna put who sits on them? The dragons. The dragons sit on the couch? Mm -hmm, for their enclosures. Dude. Yeah. That's that's super cute. That's Thank really you. well done. Thank you. Except how the dog hair, you know. Yeah, dog hairs are part of life sometimes. <laughs> so, I've got some news for you guys that's pretty much breaking my heart right now. I actually feel like crawling under my table and spending the rest of the show under there because this guy who rushed himself too much getting ready to go this guy. This guy's good. This guy didn't do anything wrong. It's true. This guy forgot the toupee that we got for him. Now, the great thing is that we're still going to wear the toupee at some point on a video, for sure, because it was the one that I had in my dream of Jimmy wearing for yeah, isn't. I wanted to wear it here. It's the grandest show Hold ever. On. I just thought about something. I just thought about an idea to still get you a toupee. I'm gonna make you one right now and I've got a pretty good idea of like what to use to make it with. If I can make you one right now that like 
Will you wear it? <laughs> I'm afraid we're, 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 <laughs> where are you going to get fur? It's, it, we're going to use plants. So I'm thinking a few of these and a little bit of this. And that should do it. This is actually going to fit your head better. The toupee was a little bit small even on my head. And so I feel like this is going to like really work. Wow, you're zipping that thing. I, I mean, I don't, want to, I don't want to zip it too much. I don't want to cut the circulation off of your head. There's nothing up there anyway. You got the chills. He's a little tickly? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want you to look good, bro. That's the point. I can't say shut Leave a comment down below, please. I'm actually really happy. I think he looks great. I want to know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think he should leave it on all weekend? Or should he... I don't know. I think he should leave it on all weekend. Because that was the plan with the toupee. And I feel like this was even a better replacement than the toupee was going to be in itself. So we'll do another video with the real toupee and see which one matches up. Hi, I'm Ross with Air Plan Art. And I'd like to share with you some of these beautiful plants from South America, Latin America. They're an epiphyte like an orchid, meaning they don't need any dirt to grow in. So because of that, you can create some really awesome things. We also have a beautiful arrangement of Latin American and Mexican folk art from Oaxaca, all handmade, hand painted, all cultural and historical. It's just a beautiful, beautiful art form. Thank you very much. Awesome, man. So I'd, I'd really like to thank my man Ross here. He's the one that donated the, uh, the Spanish moss here for Jimmy's makeshift toupee. And he's always set up here at the Super Show and he's always got amazing, beautiful looking plants. And he's a really nice guy. So you guys check him out when you come to the show. Gordo Films with a Z. My man here is going to be going, oh, what do you got there? Is that a, oh, it's a Sony, okay. Yeah, Sony. Nice. My man here is Gordo Films. He's going to be running around filming some stuff at the show. I'll put a link in the description for his channel so you guys go check out, see what he films around the show and, and get his perspective on it and see what you guys think about it. Yeah. He's going to show you guys some cool stuff. Because I don't know how much I'm going to be able to break away from the booth and go film. I'm going to definitely and show you guys some different animals that catch my eye for the moment that I get to walk around. But I'm going to also find other people that are filming here at the show. And I'm going to put their links in the description so you can go see all the different people that are filming here and see their takes on it and see their videos and they'll go in to do different things. Some, be, some people will focus on different animals, different aspects of the show. I figure that's a good way to get you guys a nice rounded look for those of you who really want to just like take a look at this show from all angles so you can literally do that and find them all down in the description down below. Everybody's video they do for the show or at least their channels that they haven't uploaded yet. Brian's bullshitting about all of this and I think he's just going to walk around aimlessly and see what's going on and just go and figure it out as he goes. <laughs> I mean, he may not be lying. All right, while you guys were checking out the show, I did notice that one of our indigo snakes had just shed out, so I wanted to show you her. She's the female and she's gorgeous, and there she is. As, as I mentioned in the video, we're gonna be doing uh, shout outs for everybody else that we saw that was filming at the show. Noah, Sage, all of those links are going to be in the next video. I'll do a couple shout outs of folks that were filming. And just so you can get like a well-rounded spot of the show. And this can be one spot that you come to to find all the different links for all the different people that are filming. So you can get a nice feel for the whole show. Because I, I, have, I can't run around and film the whole show. Even in person, if I had nothing else to do, I had no booth to run. You couldn't possibly see everything there is to see at the show. You could do a whole video just on a single animal at the show. And I mean, I tried to do some of that too with the interviews. But... I just really wanted to get you guys a nice round feel of how the show was from as many perspectives as possible. And I'd like to give one shout out right here in this video to LuB747. Channel link is down in the description. I already watched his video on the show. He did a great job. He does a lot of other stuff, go stuff going herping around the world, checking stuff out. Cool dude. So check out the link down there. And then in part two of this video, we'll dive into the actual show after the doors opened. I ran around and checked out some of the animals I thought were really cool. And I'll see you on the next video. It'll be out very shortly. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. See you on the next one. 12 days of whiskey. I mean, I can't get rid of that, right? I can't just get rid of it. I'm bringing this to the Anaheim show and I'm passing it out to you folks at the show.